Hello and welcome to another episode of Mock TV. Um, I know it's quite cold outside today, but uh, in tailoring terms, you already have to think about summer and spring. So I thought we do the same way like we did with a winter collection. I'm going to show you what I did for myself for the upcoming summer collection and uh, my ideas behind it. And then in four weeks, you will see the final results and then I will present them to you. So, as always, I'm starting with something very conservative and slowly to uh, go towards the more flamboyant options. Not too much time wasted here. So, the first option that we have is um, something that has a bit of a comeback at the moment, the black suit. Uh, the black suit, which was always considered a suit which you should only wear for uh, funerals and yeah that's about it uh, now has a big comeback because like obviously it's a very very cool suit a suit for guys and girls who don't have to wear suits which is why we love it and as a general theme you will see later during this whole collection is actually playing with different blends of wool cotton linen and so on and so forth with no patterns, this was a super good option. About this one, so it's a wool and mohair blend by Duckdale, a uh, fabric which has a bit of shine to it, which is crease resistant through the mohair and um, quite light, works well for summer. So we thought, as this is the most conservative option, something that I want to wear at Victoria Bar, going out tonight uh, or like at night, uh, being chic, wearing it with a white shirt, a black tie, or like a black shirt and no tie. This is a 6-2 for us, a classic, very conservative option, and uh, which we love for that reason. Um, two vents, uh, mother of pearl buttons. So, let's talk about the second option. Or oh, not the second option, my second suit. I Classic lounge suit for the daytime. A silver, cotton and uh, wool blend. Excuse me, cotton and linen. Um, as you see, it has a bit of these white spots, which I personally like very much. And uh, I think it has something a bit American to it in a way. So something like Hollywood, old Hollywood style. And I personally see that one as a single breasted three button lounge suit. I'm opting for a single vent, no uh, stitching on the lapel edge, a uh, no lapel buttonhole, hoo hoo daring, and reverse pleats with belt loops on the trousers. Um, I think that will be an amazing look to be worn with a white linen shirt or a white sapphire shirt. Again, a black knitted tie might op is, uh, do very well white t-shirt, black sunglasses. Think of Tom Cruise in The Rain Man, and you know what I mean. As I said, the general idea of like presenting collections is always going from the most conservative option to more and more flamboyant options. Um, the next one is a wool linen blend uh, from Alphon Brown. Um, this is an amazing fabric has also, again, some spots here and there. Um, and with brown, um, it's always a tricky one, I think. You can e easily um, design it as a very, very formal suit. Yet again, you can also go in for something a bit more casual. So we thought, why not to mix these two things? Um, this will be a full one double-breasted, so a low-closing double-breasted suit. Um, we wanted to bring out the, the mixture of the two ideas through using uh, white mother of pearl buttons or cream. Uh, it will have big patch, patch pockets as you've seen on my Berlin flannel suit, no vents and reverse pleats on the trousers. For all the trousers, as you know, we cut them quite high and wide. This is the style I personally like. For others who like it a little bit slimmer, also no problem. Um, a suit with a lot of potential. Again, to be worn with a Cuban color, like above the lapel, 
Um, I could also see it with a piece of light knitwear, um, silk, wool blend, silk cashmere blend, maybe even like a linen piece of knitwear, uh, a white shirt or t-shirt, a white Breton shirt, a black shirt, all possible with this uh, bad guy and never should forget about the black knitted tie. The last one in the series is not a suit but a combination. And here we're really, really talking Tommy Nutter and 70s. Um, so we have a combination, as I said. Um, I don't know if that can really comes through to the camera, but that is a mint Irish linen uh, from Brisbane. And a, it's not lilac. It's a, something between lilac and purple cotton twill. Um, these two textures work brilliantly with each other and the two colors as well. Um, you could also wear it the other way around, we find, but like I opted for uh, the linen jacket and the cotton twill trousers. Uh, for the uh, jacket, I went for a single breasted again, a peak lapel jacket, uh, big broad peak lapels, um, and a single bend. Um, and I again went for patch pockets, if I remember correctly, maybe also like just straight ones. Um, but straight flat pockets but uh, the idea of that suit is also only to bring out the shape um, and the color will do the rest it's such a lovely mint and uh, when with, for the trousers then again I uh, went for something flared I uh, no plates uh, really like just like focusing on the color and um, these two ones will be a not so easy one to wear. I actually think the best option to wear with this is a white t-shirt um, or a white polo um, to calm it down, um, not to do too much in terms of tie and shirt and whatsoever. Like uh, this will be so bold when it comes out. Uh, it's, uh, you can overdo it and look like a clown. Uh, yet again, it's very elegant to wear it. It's something beautiful to take with you on a trip to the Riviera, um, to uh, go out on a, a sunny day in Munich and have an espresso, uh, to enjoy a alt beer in Dusseldorf, or even uh, a cold in, in Cologne. It depends on uh, what kind of region you're from and what kind of not beer you like. So um, it's a beautiful option. Um, I'm very, very excited about all of these. The beautiful thing for you as guys who might be interested in having a suit or a, a combination made is um, that these are all house fabrics. So we can offer a really, really good deal on that. All of the suits that are presented are 1, 5, uh, 1,600 euros and the combination is a bit more, something around like 1,650, but not too much. And a great option also for the young people among you who think like about having a first suit made and want to directly opt for a specialist. Um, and um, so I think these are all great. Please remember only four weeks of this maxi deal left. Um, we are very, very happy uh, to uh, have you uh, to maybe welcome you here, or we would be very happy and present you our new summer collection. Thank you very much.